Hey guys, um, so I thought I would do a what I eat in a day when I'm flying because I always feel like the hardest, or for me at least, one of the biggest challenges of being vegan is travel days. Um, I struggle in airports to like find things. So I'm actually, this is the night before, it's Friday, I'm flying out Saturday. But what I like to do is if I know I'm going to be on the flight for like a meal um, and tomorrow I'll be on there for lunch, then I like to go ahead and try to bring stuff with me. And if not, it's not impossible to find stuff in the airport. It's just a bit challenging. And maybe if I have time, I'll go around tomorrow and show you some options. Um, but so what I'm going to bring is I have this celery and carrot stick with uh, I think it's red pepper hummus that I'll bring. And then I have an apple and a pear, and then um, I'm gonna take some of these, gosh, I don't even know what to call them, like oat granola power bar cookie things that um, I made the other day, which you either already have a video of the recipe or you're about to get it, just depends on when a certain someone gets a certain thing shipped in the mail. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that tonight because tomorrow, I have to leave at, I think, like 6.45, not too, too early, but early enough that I was like, just in case I forget. Um, and then I do have, I'm just doing the last load of laundry tonight, and I'll use my, I have my reusable Ziploc bag, and that's what I'll put um, some of these things in. But yep, see you in the morning. morning guys all right so it is just about six now um, I've got my water and then I made up my kind of go-to breakfast so it's just half a cup of quick oats um, and then sorry <laughs> um, cinnamon turmeric nutmeg vanilla and then some frozen sliced up bananas go on top and it's really fast and really easy and super yummy because the bananas make the oatmeal sweet so i'm going to eat this and then finish getting packing and we're gonna head over to i'm gonna take the train over this morning so i'll see you in a little bit and there's barely any like peanut butter left in this jar so i'm just gonna like finish it off <laughs> train about to go transfer to the second so then we'll be at the airport see you then Inside, go through security. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, 
All right, so I made it through security. Now I'm gonna go find my gate to be 11, and I have about an hour until I leave, so I'm gonna find a bathroom for sure. Okay, so just went to the bathroom. One of the things I always like to do once I get here is to fill up my mason jar so that I have some water because it's so easy to get dehydrated when you're flying. Um, and I like bringing my own so that on the plane I don't have to get a new cup, I can just use mine. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know the DIA airport, it's like the longest airport in the history of the planet and I'm always on the wrong side. So I'm at B11 and I was all the way by like B60, so just walking so walked. My gate is right over there and it looks like they're already starting to board. So I'm gonna go get on the plane. to baggage claim. I already have my bags, but that's where you pick up the taxis too. And then a taxi over to the dorm. <laughs> and just like that, we're back. All right, I survived. My goodness, what a day. So normally my mom and dad would drive me to the airport so I wouldn't have to do the train bit, but we actually, um, sorry, there's no light. Let me get you some light. But um, we had a death in the family and so they were going with my grandparents to fly to California this morning and their flight left like just after mine and just car space wise it was going to be a nightmare so I just took the train um, but that made it extra super fun and then that taxi ride took like an hour and a half which it normally takes about like 30 minutes so but we're here yay so it's about 5 30 so I'm gonna go get dinner soon but I want to unpack first but I'm starving so I'm gonna have one of these from Trader Joe's um, it's just dates, hazelnuts, and cocoa powder, and just a little energy boost. Okay, so I'm just gonna drink this water and unpack real fast, and then I'm gonna run over to the store because I want to grab, I wanna make red beans and rice this week, but I don't have any beans and I need to soak them overnight. So I need to go to the store and grab a bag of those, and then I think I'm gonna run to Panera for dinner. So, see you in a sec. If you could just unpack that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Get to it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I did it. I am packed. I'm about to head over to the store. And then I just wanted to like props to Panera because they actually put vegan right on there. If it'll focus. See? Um, which I just think is super nice, super helpful. So I'm going to probably get the vegan lentil quinoa broth bowl because that sounds really yummy. And then I think I'm going to get their black bean soup which is also vegan. All right, went to the store, went to Panera, and I did get exactly what I said I was going to. So that's the black bean soup. And then the baguettes are totally vegan. I think almost all of their sides, if not all of their sides, are vegan. Whoop! And then that's the barley miso um, broth bowl. So that's gonna be dinner tonight, yeah. So the last thing I'm going to be having is this um, mint 
vanilla tea. And then I've also got just a couple of pieces of dark chocolate in the freezer that I'm gonna have as well. And that's gonna be it tonight, so that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy when I'm flying, so I thought it'd be fun to show you. Let me know if you are vegan and if you struggle um, flying in airports or if you think it's super easy, any funny stories you've had, um, I'd love to hear them. I will, in the future when I go, I will probably do one where I don't pack what I'm going to eat so that I can show you some strategies for finding stuff. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it for tonight. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, day, um, and I will talk to you guys real soon. So give me a comment down below, say hi, feel free to hit that subscribe button.